Okay, hey everyone, it's been a bit, but I'm back, and it'll be final week, or final day of uh, Thanksgiving. So what we got here on tap today is a Warriors Orichi 4, which is a long-standing spin-off of a game series of Dynasty Warriors, or um, is it Mus Musao, Sengugo Musao is Japanese, and most... Probably a lot of people know these games, but if you don't, they're basically like really kind of simple, janky, like action XXXYYY buttons and you kill things, and that's about it. Uh, the Orichi series is basically an amalgamation of like the first two big series, which was Dynasty Warriors, which takes place in basically ancient China during the three key. Uh, Three Kingdoms period, where you have the Wu, the Wei, and the Shu. And then you have Samurai Warriors, which is takes place in the medieval or feudal Japan, rather, during the Tokugawa, uh, well, basically the Tokugawa Shogunate when it was being created by uh, Nobunaga. And then now you have the Orichi, which is basically Japanese for snakes, so you have these weird, like, demonoid humans with weird powers, and in this game, the fourth game, now there's, like, Greek gods. It sounds as ridiculous as it's, as it, yeah, yeah, it just sounds ridiculous. And so, yeah, uh, I haven't unlocked everything, of course, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot to unlock in this game. Cause look at all these damn characters. It's kind of crazy. So see Orichi, yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of story to this game. Probably nothing too big to write home about. It, it's it's fun schlock, is what it is. And of course, there's music from all different games. It's just kind of nifty. Then you have, you know, movies. 
And of course, Nobunaga is like, kind of like a big evil. Because that's kind of how he's treated in most Japanese uh, media, is that Nobunaga is kind of a villain. Because, to be fair, he was a pretty, uh, he was a pretty vicious, uh, well, dictator. He was basically the feudal Japan version of, kind of, well, I would, maybe I would say Hitler, although, I don't know if he personally persecuted Jews as well. I think he persecuted Christians, but, anyway, um, I would do story mode, but it's kind of silly. <laughs> and I still haven't done a lot of it. There's a lot of, like, kind of goofy mechanics in this game. So you can start with three people. Hey. Hey, dude, don't look at her boobs like that. Jeez. I know she has big ones, but jeez. Little respect. Yeah, there's a lot. So I beat the first chapter. I'm doing, just doing the second one. I was hoping to unlock more characters. I, I have unlocked a few. Then you can... You have your three main parties, and you also have your horse. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, there's actually some cool combinations you can do. So begin battle with a tier of the gods, Mate guards. Again, let's see. Begin battle with a uni filled. Oh, okay, so if you find these, you get the effect. I get it. But look at all these. Holy hell. How do you do this? Well, <coughs> I think you have to um, discover them. Then you also have support characters that will help you in battles. So yeah, if you... So some you have to have at least five. Some you only need three. I don't think there's one where you have to have all seven. Oh, that's a weird blank spot, maybe. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, it kind of helps you, because, you know, if they're with the Oda clan, Tokugawa, and then... I think there's Dynasty Warriors stuff. Um, Motherly Lud, the Masked Man, Vestiger of the Gods. Gods of Olympus. Yeah, see, there's Greek mythology now in this game. It's it's gotten silly. It's gotten very very silly. One eye warriors. I think I have an idea of what that is. Basically, anyone that has an eye patch. I know a few characters that do. Yeah, you can get a horse too. Horse is what helps you travel faster. And it tells you speed, power, technique. So speed is they can move fast, um, power, and do more damage. I think technique is when they use their musao, which is basically you fill up their your gauge, and then they have. Um, also, you have bonding events where it's like they talk to each other. I think when you see uh, yellow, it means uh, there's no events, but. Well, we got this guy, Jai, uh, Jazu. Let's see what he says. Shingen道路、あんた孫子が好きなんだってね。その早きこと風のごとく、その静かなること林のごとく、侵略することひのごとく、の飾ることやまのごとく。で。知りがたきことインのごとく動くことを来心のごとしと続くわけだが孫子の軍曹編だね。どうじゃ。食えない軍略家同士兵法について語り合わんかね。申し訳ないが、俺にとって兵法とは実践するものでね。兵は竿を持
Uh, Go. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Go is a very popular old school strategy board game. Um, I think it's popular in both China and Japan. In fact, I think maybe it came from China and then Japan adopted it, I believe. But yeah, Go is a very interesting uh, strategy. Like, it's kind of like a weird version of checkers where it's like you cover someone and you can flip the little, uh, like these little flat stones from like a black side and a white side. I forget the details, but yeah. So yeah, you have characters from basically Dynasty Warriors, which are the Chinese, the Japanese, or Samurais, and some of the weird working ones, like this one, Tamano, Tamamo. I believe she's the Warriors or Ichi people. I haven't unlocked any of the gods yet. Yeah, these guys are definitely from uh, Warriors or Ichi because of their even more ridiculous outfits than normal. Alright, let's do a mock battle. Yeah, using normal magic. Yeah, so you can switch between three characters. Um, so like this. Oh, that's his magic. And he switch. And you have a little rage attack. You do a lot more damage and you're quicker. Okay, then this is the Musao attack. So yeah, the more you attack, the more you fill it up here. And yeah, this is normal. This is charge attacks. The more you charge, you do a bit more damage. You do a charge forward attack. I guess you can dodge. Yeah, if you time it right, you can do actually some kind of cool combos like that and juggle them. And here you can block attacks. You can... Oh, oh, you get a special Musao when you do Rage Musao. That's pretty cool. And you can walk on to certain enemies. So, most of these Drabonis are not that powerful. They won't really hurt you. But you'll see more well-armed opponents. Um, like when you're attacking, most of the time when you're attacking little bases, you'll find a captain. You want to take it out. And then you'll fight also um, other hero or other commanders. Then you have the seventh the super rage Yeah, it gives you a huge boost of experience and some gems which you spend to upgrade everything. There's a lot of things to upgrade in this game. You can upgrade warriors themselves, you can upgrade their weapons, you can upgrade their base, <laughs> and their skills. They also have individual skills. There's actually a lot of this game, but why would I call this janky? Well, it's because, I mean, this game doesn't look bad, but the look of this game hasn't evolved much since it came out about 20 or so years ago. And... There's not much strategy to it. It is just slash, slash, slash. They try, they try to spice it up a bit in, in these games. And I, you know, at least I appreciate they do a little variety or are trying to. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, then he also had the real magical attacks. That's actually pretty neat. That helps fill build up, you know, your for your super rage attack. They all have different magic. She likes to say I'm sorry a lot in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, she's a little bit of a goofy, super sexy character. <laughs> yeah, he uses, basically he uses Poseidon. It's pretty neat. He uses, um, I think he uses um, Zeus. And she uses, um, I don't know what she uses. I think she uses like Dionysus, Dionysus, the, the wine god. Yeah, so see, I have them equipped, and you see their little combos. Yeah, their hyper attacks. Oh, yeah, Sacred Treasure. Oh, she's Aphrodite. Okay, that's kind of cool. Tells you right there. Yeah, I see you can have equipment. Yeah, this is just regular settings. So he has Trident. He has, yeah, Neo Masa. There's so many names to remember in this game. Uh, he has, yeah, so they're siblings. I believe they're siblings. Could be married, I don't know. He has Apollo. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so you have normal magic, charge magic, and then unique magic. Okay, so you just gotta. Okay, and then you can also summon your horse by holding the right bumper in A. And then you can dismount your horse and get right back on your horse. This will help you move faster. You also can attack from it. This is as a charge, you use your moose sow to like batter right through them. I don't know if there's any other things you can do on the horse though besides that. They also have like unique attacks when they're attacking from the horse. Yeah, they like jump kick. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's kinda funny. She does the uh, her little flips. A little flip kicks. And he just slashes the crap out of you. He kind of. It was a little something. I think he jumps off a bit. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. The controls in these games are not bad, they're very basic. Have you ever heard of jokes that press the XXX and the YYY? <laughs> that's where this game, that's where that comes from. Yeah, you also have uh, jump attacks. You have a jumping ground tag, jumping slash. I don't think you have a Musao in the air, though. No. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> no, okay. But remember not to press A, because A summons your horse. Alright, let's return to camp. That's just the basics of this game. It's a good, actually, kind of like neat little practice mode they have.
Uh, what is, I think Battle Arena is the online mode. I think I played it this <laughs> earlier. Yeah, create a room. Yeah. Form a mock battle. Offline of NPCs. All right, let's, let's try that. Maybe we can have a bit more meat. All right, so we want to try and capture this middle base, I think. Yeah. You have to stand still, though. Yeah, you see the map in that corner there. Yeah, they say a base captains. This is not how the actual game goes. Well, it sort of does. Like, yeah, so see, these are other uh, warriors you fight. They're the enemy warriors. They can actually hurt you. Ah, I got stung. Double team here, well, at least my allies here. Need a block more. Actually, that's a pretty cool attack. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. I can't look up his stats. Alright, so that's just a quick online battle. It's not really how the main goes. I wish there was like a skirmish mode. Maybe there is and I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, challenge mode, I did unlock this. I think this is more of a skirmish, kind of like little special challenge modes that will play like the regular game does. All right, so. Godspeed, race across the battlefield at divine speed and defeat enemies as quickly as possible. <coughs> Weapon only acquired, merciful can, can make preaches or wine appear after defeating an enemy. Oh, peaches or wine. Yeah, food. I think f any food item heals you and then wine peels up your musal. Gilead Creasine Surge raises abilities in accordance with your KO count. The abilities that are raised pin the character. Okay. Alright, let's give this one a go. Surge. Okay, so there's different... Interesting. Um... There's this thing I remember. I do remember that from previous Dynasty Warriors games. Alright, it's so like kill thousand enemies. fight an actual person. Dio-chan. Oh, Divine Rush has appeared. Does it appear in the center? It does, okay. Oh, sweet! We get a little doubles. Diamond back. Who the hell are you? Where's a muzu? I grab this. So I think that's definitely an Orichi guy. Because he's definitely yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do a big attack. Oh, 
いショット援軍として参上したよ。Oh, so those are chaos spawns. Oh, Odin, holy shit. Yep, there's the gods. Damn, I should have saved that. So those little, like, spawns of chaos strength, strengthen the enemies, and they're harder to kill. You can't really use normal attacks. It, you need to use, uh... Basically, the souped up attacks, the, the yeah, Chaos Origin. You need, like, the souped the attack I just showed you with all eight, uh, seven characters, rather, to kill it quickly. Yeah, see, I'm doing jack shit, and they get, they get buffed. So does Odin. Oh, that's not a good combination. Kill these so we can get oh, two more of them done. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, shit. Damage. Oh, cool. All right, cool. So, yeah, those magic attacks are pretty good, too. Definitely not gonna beat the score. <laughs> Alright, kill Odin. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we got a party here, don't we? Well, let's crash the party. Angels? <laughs> We're fighting Greek soldiers now. Oh yeah, Greek soldiers, yeah. Where did they go? Alright, yeah, I got the wine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Son Vulcan? Holy shit. We're gonna find a bunch of people.
All right. I think there's my infinity mode, so I have to get I have to get to clear chapter five, and I just started chapter two, so that's probably not going to happen. All right, we'll, we'll play a little of the story mode. Why the hell not? I'm probably just going to skip it, though, because it's mostly ridiculous fluff. <laughs> Basically, a lot of weird stuff is happening. All the, all the worlds are colliding. Now you have the Greek gods trying to kill each other. Yeah, so I just kicked Shadow uh, Tokugawa. Or um, Nobunaga, rather. Not Tokugawa. Yeah, well, you know. Alright, so this is how normal Dynasty Warriors goes. Okay, so we get we get bonus objectives here. So we can if we defeat Shu Huan in ten minutes, we get six hundred gems. We have uh, Yukamara and Hagikatsu reach or reach him and win without AIS health drawing below thirty. Okay, so here's our main officers. Let's actually change them out. Um, wonder if we can. Can we not change them from here? Oh, we probably have to go back, maybe. Well, you know what? Let's just let's just fight. So yeah, see that map there. So the blue is um, us and our allies, or our team, and the reddish pink is the enemy. So those big circles are enemy camps, or well, they're camps. Some are enemies, some are ours. Um, yeah, the green arrow is us. The arrows, those little like chevron arrows, I think that's the way you only can go that way when a gate opens, I think. Um, I don't know what those claw things are, though. I think those are, those are enemies, I think. Okay, so we assist AI and Usagi, and then we, we are defeated, though, if any of our allies fall. Yeah, so Chaos Origins, they kind of suck. What is his name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> いそがめ all right, so we see a bunch of uh, see the usual jabronis. Now we see a group with an uh, actual leader. Yeah, I think those are, um, I forget what those calls are, like little spikes. I think they help charge our stuff a little faster there. Yeah, see their little Xing. It goes a lot quicker. Yeah, you get nice, you get the gems bonus from doing that. Let's move forward though, because we gotta, we gotta book it. Yeah, so far we have 209 B KOs. Let's get that to 300. Yeah, 
違いを感じる腹の賊ではないようだ Of course, the more you fight these guys, you get more experience. Well, usually, you get more experience by liberating camps to your side. Actually, can we go this way? Yeah, the thing is, the map's kind of confusing. Let's see if we can go this way and then go up there. Actually, let's summon our horse. Yeah, that's how you move faster. Oh, let's get rid of this blue juke. Alright, let's just wipe them out here. There you go, level up. Alright, so we got that camp. So they won't be coming out from there anymore. Oh, I want to do horse. Alright, Chaos Origin. That's gonna be a problem. Like you can see, the emphasis of this game is lots and lots of people on the screen. <laughs> and numbers flashing. <laughs> Alright, got rid of that guy. Yeah, I also get weapons if you defeat these guys as well. So it's kind of, they're kind of worth going after. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, so we got our, got ourselves supercharged. Let's kill this guy first. Alright, ah. Oh, you think those are Chaos Origin things? Okay, that's what that symbol means. Gotcha. Good to know, good to know. That's definitely the way to deal with them. Super quick. Okay. So yeah, that tells you where to go and who you need to protect. Oh, man, another one of these? Oh, yeah. Alright. Lady, I think you need to get lay off the clay loots. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit trickier. See if we can lock on the hand. There, so I was able to kill him at least. Alright, let's see if we can. Alright, 
Yeah, this is one of our targets. And you're down. ま、all right, let's just wipe him out of here. Ah, this guy has a big axe. There we go, he's out. <laughs> oh, cool. I'd be in for 10 minutes. Sweet. ジョコドロ。あとは俺たちに任せてくれ。大師事だ。すまん。頼んだぞ。ジョコドロを追い詰めた。敵の優勢が出てきたようですね。愛で悟してあげましょう。Whatever you say, lady. Oh no, I could have jumped over. Oh. Why did you stop? Sonken <laughs> みんなはなければなりません。神か。ほう。ほう。その勇気。綾の心にも響きました。敵はまた城を狙ってくるでしょう。みんな。愛を持って当たりなさい。所詮敵は小銭だ。城を落としてしまえ。なった。うろたえ
Yeah, slaughtery weapons. So any stimo. No Bunagano Scarano Himitsanante. No. Chokset Kita Tokoro. No. I know you might know some of these characters, there, Rose. Also, how are you? I can't pretend what's going on with this world. And there's there's a big boy right there. You should know him. Dude in the middle. Okay. Oh, no, this is not just Samurai Warriors. This is Samurai Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, and Orichi, and also Greek gods, even. Because I did fight Odin, not too. Actually, no, Odin is Norse. So it's just gods from everywhere. And I even fought Song, Song Wong King, the Monkey King. Uh, it's a good question. I haven't run into him yet, unfortunately. Yeah, well, we'll just skip the story here. I know there's a lot of goofiness in this game. We have Don Xiao. Alright, what objectives can I get? Oh, actually, I can show my objectives. That should be useful. Oh yeah, so, yeah, some one king, yeah, monkey king. Yeah, he's in this game. I just fought him. I fought him, so he's in this game as well. So I guess there's mythology <laughs> from Greek, Norse, and Chinese. I guess in Japanese as well. Oh, well, let me. Uh, wait, why can't I change my horse? All right, wait. I'm gonna have to go back to the camp. I want to upgrade my horse. Yeah, so see, you have affiliations. You have Wei, you have Wei, Wu, and Shu. I haven't found Jin yet. And you have Samurai 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have the Orichi series. I think others is the gods, because they don't fit. That <laughs> way is the only way to go. I knew you would say that. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put in some way people. So I haven't I wanna change it up. Can I why can I change? Oh let me change my party. Yeah, let's change my party. Alright, let's let's see if we can get a full way team for ya. Mr. Big Axe here. Um, and we got Jayu. He's actually kind of cool. He looks like a pirate. <laughs> he looks like a Chinese pirate. Yeah, he calls him the Lord of the Sun or something. Uh, have I locked any? I haven't locked anyone else in Wei, unfortunately. Yeah, no, he yeah, he is the strategist guy. He likes it. Alright, I got I got a bit of power. Okay, let's check out Honda. <laughs> well, maybe the um maybe that game that these guys are making, ironically enough, another Koei Techno. Maybe we'll have Chinese pirates. Let's throw in a let's throw in Orichi character, Tamamo. Yeah. And then the support characters, you can have different support characters from various series. It's kind of crazy. There's there's a lot of characters in this game. All right, I'm going to change my yeah, change the chestnut. Really? I didn't know that. That would be an interesting story, I think. 
All right, let's do one of these goofy bond events. <laughs> let's see what uh, Shu Huan says. Oh, she, he's going to flirt with Aya. Or Aya. ジョコンが一すら頂きを目指し、部に精進するずきんぐらいでござろうか。それで良いのです。何事も始めは真似事から。やがてあなたは。せしゃ、別に剣心殿を真似ようとは。隠さなくても良いのですよ。ではちょっと今後ともよろしく。うん。<笑> She is cute. Though she she sounds like she's always on Quaaludes or something. <laughs> Alright, let's see let's see how this party goes. Uh, actually let's see if we can upgrade. Actually they need to be upgraded because they're only at level one. Oh boy. Let's jump on up to a seven or eight. Whatever you say, lady. Yeah, and you also can get skills in this game too. It's kind of crazy. They they actually added some some depth to this game. I, I figured I would never hear that in a Dynasty Warriors game. But I need um, orbs. I don't know where you get orbs. I think you have to get them in like certain missions or something. Oh yeah. Um, let's upgrade. We well, also can upgrade the camp itself. Yeah, it's kind of kind of ridiculous. You can upgrade, fuse, and dismantle weapons. He only has this. He only has this, she only has that. So, yeah, they haven't unlocked any weapons because they haven't been fighting. They haven't been killing. Oh, damn it. Alright, let's do one more mission and then we're going to switch to my next awesome game. Alright, we're going we're gonna to kick the shit out of Oda. Yeah, we're basically we're fighting Odo uh, Nobunaga right now, who is who's always the big bad in a lot of Japanese games. I guess he was kind of a dick though. So, all right. Yeah, Shu chapter. Oh, so in the story, Sousa actually disappears. They actually defeat the Wu Samurai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll change the music to something you probably heard before. Oh, he was. He was also a very brutal man. <laughs> I remember this thing. <laughs> yes, yes, the butt rock indeed. Isn't this also Sao Sao scene though? I know Sao Sao Pai is his um his son, so that would make sense, right? <laughs> 
だが手出しはするな全然燃えないサッカーをお前だカテドルの言葉を信じていいのか今度は俺たちが裏切られる番かも戦の要は軍師の格差それに主善さんと名を持ですねその通り一人でも賭けたら策はならない全軍頑張って護衛してくれ Well, I swear I've heard this theme before, though. Like, I think it was Dynasty Warriors 4. Alright, let's do some more cool magic. Oh, no, no, not the horse. Go chestnut. Alright, so that's the cool magic stuff they do in this game now. I see those little chaos origin things, they suck. But look at this. Now you got this cool little uh, big attack. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it is, but it's it's kind of fun. Garcia? What the hell? Where did she come from? She looked like she's from Soul Calibur. I have no idea who she is. I, I guess. With a name like Sia, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's kind of neat. So it's kind of cool that you can switch the characters, though. Actually, I'll play with her. It's a mono. That's pretty neat, actually. I like her little scroll things. What the heck is going on? So when you do those tack, you get those uh, gem bonuses so you can buy things with it. Yeah, I know it's jank. <laughs> Why do you think I'm playing this? Why do you think I'm playing this woman? I have to admit, it's still kind of stupid fun, though. But, yeah, things haven't really changed much, have they? Since you played this. Things haven't really changed. Everything old is new again. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, the graphics do look okay, at least. Yeah, that's true. You you would think with it, you know, this game existing, you have like the perfect groundwork to make a game like this. Oh, thanks for this camera angle game, by the way. No, they really don't. Why? Well, because why? Why do research, right? That's too hard. <laughs> Could have. And it probably would have been really good. I think it would have been a it would have been a cult classic at least. Alright, let's fuck these guys up. No, jump off the horse. Jump off the fucking horse. Yeah, it's definitely one of those situations like, man, what a what a waste. you running <laughs> I admit I kind of do like this scene <laughs> probably because that's what I heard the most when I played Dynasty Warriors 4 because it was Sao Sao and it reminds me of, you know, the cheesy uh, dub that South Side says, I put on the Holy Quest! Or something. <laughs> like, I don't think that's not how South South would sound like. Like, I don't know the man personally, obviously. 
but uh, I don't think he would sound like sound like that. Yeah, his holy quest. Yeah, he was a bit of like a religious zealot too in some way, wasn't he? That's kind of cool. She's whaps him with the scroll. Well, that's kind of neat. I mean, there's some there's some dumb fun things in this game. Hey, right, hungry, Mr. Ryder. Hey, I heard that term Keikaku, according to plan. That's what it means. Well, this is Dynasty Warriors, my friend. This is like the expansion. This is like the spin off of a spin off of a spin off of a spin off of Dynasty Warriors. Basically, it's, it's Warriors All Stars. I didn't even know you knew about Dynasty Warriors. That's cool. Ah. <laughs> I love how she just struts like, look at this. Oh, this is the guy I'm supposed to fight. Hi, Garcia. She looks like, um... Doesn't she look like the uh, girl from um, Soul Calibur? The one that um, Raphael basically turned into a vampire? Or she got turned into a vampire? Ah, now I got those stupid chaos, chaos orbs in there, so they're gonna be a pain in the ass to fucking kill. <laughs> Oh, I got I got myself charged here. So. Yep, you're dead. You're dead, Raiden. Or Shujinko from Mortal Kombat. Oh, 
Hey, Valkyrie Wayne. Hello. How are you? Welcome. I don't think I've seen you here before. But I welcome you anyway. I always like seeing new faces. Yeah, look at her. She's just, she's just strutting through. Like, I'm just walking. Go that way. Wait, we said you were going to die. What? Out of the way. Wait, was he in there? Why you fools are always in trouble? Come on. Why are you fools always in trouble? Let's just go this way. Oh man. Takeda, you're being a pain in the ass. That is a weird attack. I'm not even sure what happened there. <laughs> if anyone knows, let me know, because I sure as hell don't. Oh, 
And let's blow him up. Alright, I'm gonna have to move on. Why do you guys keep spawning? Did, I, did the captain not pop up here? Ah, fine. I'm just gonna have to... Another pawn joins us. Hey! Thank you, Valkyrie Wayne, for the follow. I appreciate it. As always. Let's kill the creepy dude. Yep, I finally got 40. Not bad. Thank you. Thank you, Valkyrie. Hopefully we'll catch you next time. Alright. He's dead. I think that's it. Yep. That was it. Sweet. Wait, that's his mom? That's your mom? Unless she's your sister. Your mom is very young looking. I am very confused. Yeah, I'm confused. I, 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 I guess, I guess. Oh, so we get this creepy fuck on our team, I guess. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we got Yan Shao. Is he with Wei as well? I believe he is, right? Wait, we get Garcia and this guy that looks like uh, looks like Lucas from uh, Bayonetta. Oh, okay, yeah. So he was above Sao Sao.
Oh yeah, so that tells you right there. So he was one that helped bring down Don Zhao. Garcia. The daughter of Oda Retainer. Wait, so... Matsuhide Akaji. Raised, raised by care by her parents. She's often known for little words. She is strong. So I guess she, she's adopted, I would assume. I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't know if this guy is is real as well. Could be. Ooh, what's the prize? Bang. Oh wait. No, I wanted to see the prize. Spring Tempest. Oh, she was baptized Garcia. Oh. So she is Japanese. She just took a um, Latin name because she was baptized. Interesting. That is weird. <laughs> well, yeah, I shut my mouth. <laughs> uh oh. We'll watch this goofy cutscene. Lou Boo! Uh oh. Mr. Big Giant Psycho. Yon Shao always sounds goofy, doesn't he? And then Konichi, she's from, from obviously she's from Samurai Warriors. I mean, Konichi basically means female ninja assassin. So she's probably not a real character, but based on something real. Oh, yeah, Takeda. He kind of looks like Sao Sao, but with just really gray hair. <laughs> I feel like they were... I don't think they were related, though, were they? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Well, he, I, I know, it's just the design almost makes him look like Sal. Sal. Anyway, alright, I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna switch games. And boy, is it a game. It's gonna be the best Street Fighter. Screw Street Fighter 2 and, and 6 and all that. We're going to play the best Street Fighter that more people should be playing. No, I'll, I'll, let, I'll, let you, I'll let you dwell on that. I'll be right back.
Is it? What is it? I told you it's the best Street Fighter. Street Fighter the movie, the game. I'm gonna play Akuma. Akuma! Kami! fix the buttons on this. <laughs> You've never seen this before, Rose? <laughs> oh, Alright, hold on. I gotta change the input on this. Because, um, it ain't happening. If I lose it, it's okay. Tatsuing. Yeah, I remember uh, Maximilian. This was the first video I remember him watching he played this game. And it kind of made me a fan of his. Look, three hit combo with just heavy Tatsu. And you can get him in the corner. 
yeah, you can just... It's the heavy Tatsu that also sets him on fire. Also, this game has an incredibly cheap AI and cheap moves from like almost every character. Akuma, win. <laughs> Akuma, win. Look, that's Jean Claude Van Damme. You remember him? Round one. Five. <laughs> When you do a super move, you make their uh, life bar explode. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was, um... He was, um... Brussels. Um... That's, uh... Belgian. Yeah, he's a Belgian. No, uh, Bel Belgian. He's the muscles from Brussels. <laughs> That's where Brussels sprouts come from, no joke. Notice in this game, he doesn't have any dialogue. Like, he doesn't say Sonic Boom. That would have been hilarious to hear Jean Clan Van Damme with his accent saying, Sonic Boom. They probably said, no, no, don't do it. Akuma versus Gaia. Round one. A Sonic Boom. Flash Kick. <laughs> now you can hear him go, Hah! <laughs> There he goes, 17 hit combo. Isn't that great? Isn't that fucking awesome? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. That's why I saved this game for last, because this, to me, is the epitome of jank. Like, this is, this is top-tier jank right here. Who, who, uh, who, who needs who needs Street Fighter Six, right? Like you got, I want Street Fighter Six. You got Street Fighter at home. Akuma, this is Gaia. Round one. Five. Of course, those who never saw the movie, Akuma was never in the movie. He's just an added character. Because I think the the main uh, developers said, hey, "Akuma's cool. Let's put him in the game." <laughs> oh. Why? What do you gotta move? What do you gotta, what do you, what do you gotta be hating? What do you gotta be hating, Rose? Come on. This is classic. This totally wasn't trying to co copy Mortal Kombat, you know? Even though Street Fighter didn't really need to copy Mortal Kombat. Akuma! I just try to do a super. What's funny is that the Street Fighter movie, even though it was a big commercial flop at first, it actually made Capcom a lot of money uh, later on. Well, I didn't know he could do exploding. Exploding uh, bombs. There's Chen Li. That's actually Ni Nan Hua, who actually is. She actually does know martial arts, funny enough. She's pretty cool in real life. Hey, at least back then, they actually put a Chinese woman who played, played Chun Li. Akuma! 
And she played Mulan too while she was voicing Mulan. I think his name is Brian or something. I don't think he's Japanese. He's, he's Asian. At least they got sort of close to him. Shoruken. Shoruken. That's not how you say it, though. Shoruken. Sakumaki Kimiaku. Is it going to be happy? Shoruken. Ryu. With. Round two. I remember Max saying, like, look, we got some Mexican kids to play this for you. <laughs> it's like, no, he's not Mexican. Look at that, though. Look at that shit. There was even, like, uh, there was a code you put in this game where you could actually extend the combo mode, where I think you do less damage, but you, have, um, you could, um, Make the combos even longer. Actually, I think the guy who did Yukuma here, Ray Ray Arneras Senior, is actually I think he's part Hispanic. He's part Asian, part Hispanic, I think. Akuma! The guy that got to play Zangief actually looks like Zangief. I, I gotta give him credit for that, too. Jesus. What's funny is that they were supposed to have uh, T Hawk. T Hawk was in the movie, played by, uh, I think his name was John Rainwater, so I think he actually was a Native American. But guess what? He fucking bailed. After the movie was over, he fucking bailed. He didn't even want to do anything for this game. He just left. Now, here's Sawada. Now, who the fuck is Sawada, you may ask? Well, Sawada. Is a character originally in this movie. He's an original character. Now, this Japanese actor, I have no idea his name is. This was supposed to be his big break in international movies, the Street Fighter movie. They were pushing this guy super hard, I guess, as a breakout star from Japan. Obviously, it didn't work out well for him. But Swada basically fights like uh, Fei Long. I think they were supposed to put Fei Long in. I don't. I don't recall. Damn, double fireball. Do the fireball. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mexican Akuma, I, I like that. <laughs> Senor Akuma. <laughs> ah, and of course they have the counter throw system. There is there's a way to counter a counter a counter. But it's a precise button for each character. For, like, there's a counter, there's a reversal, and then there's the slam master. The slam master is nice and goes. It's usually not worth doing though. Yeah, I just cheap out here. A stupid ass fucking sword. He didn't even have a sword in the fucking movie. Why does he have a sword now? It makes no sense. And this whole game doesn't make fucking sense either. Why? Well, it, it existed because it was trying to promote the movie. Round two, fight! 
So it's like, well, you guys, you got Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I think this game basically killed any notion that Capcom ever wanted to make like a a more realistic looking Street Fighter with like digitized characters like all of that. They were like, you know what? We're we're good. We're good with the like the anime look. And it's true, because like they went on to like the Alpha series, which was really cool looking. And in Street Fighter 3 probably has some of the best to the art of its time. It still looks pretty good, my Cheap ass fucking swat. Get this asshole out of the way. Akuma, Blade. Blade. Blade's supposed to be one of those Blade. stupid bison minions. Yeah, he, he shoots out, you know, blades from his feet, his boots, and he throws knives. I guess he's kind of like a Rolento and a Vicky, and he also has, he has a stun, stun gun. He has a fucking missile launcher. <laughs> Basically, he's a jabroni. But there's also two hidden um, characters. There's a there's a blue one. I forget their names. There's a blue one and a yellow one. They have different moves. Um, I'm not sure how you fucking get them. I don't know if I'm even gonna bother showing them. Maybe I will if I beat this in time. But as they go up the fucking arcade ladder. Yeah, in syndication, this movie actually made a lot of money for Capcom in the long run. Because it's one of those really terribly bad movies. It's just hilariously bad, but you can enjoy it because it's bad. And Raul Julio was fucking brilliant as Bison. And he, he, he did the movie. Fucker. <laughs> he did the movie for, I think, they say his kids. I think it's his grandkids were big into Street Fighter. And it's like, yeah, Grandpa, you are he's Bison. You know, he probably didn't really want to do it because he probably thought it was a little cool shocky even for him, even though you know, he played, you know, Gomez Adams Adams family. I thought it was bad. I mean, he was a really good guy. Oh, but he did it. And sadly, he died literally after this movie wrapped up production. I think he had uh, pancreatic cancer. Very painful way to die. But what a what a movie to go out on, huh? Honda is notoriously cheap in this game. Yeah, he died. He died too soon. He could have been. He could have been uh, in some other movies. He wasn't a bad actor. He was actually pretty good. He seemed like a cool guy. For some reason, they made Honda Samoan in this game instead of Japanese. I mean, either way, I mean, I know some Owens are sumo wrestlers too. I get that. But... I mean, it still works, I guess. Jesus. See, that's cheap that the super moves can actually put you into a stun state. You don't do that. <laughs> That is incredibly bad fighting. Akuma, I mean, you don't, you don't do that. A stun should come from like a combo or something, not from a super move that's already doing damage to you and then you get stunned and they can hit you again. But that's that's no, no bueno, no bueno there, buddy. Well. 
Look at how much he gets hang time in the air. Like, what the f Look at that. That makes no bloody sense. It makes no fucking sense. Does he have a jetpack up his ass or what? He I mean, could fit a lot up his ass, I'm sure, but jeez. Ah. I'll give Max so that is a sick Ocho throw. Or or reach or reach or throw throw? Yeah, that's what they call that. Akuma versus Hunter. Also, he didn't have the face paint on in the movie. I think. Well, yeah, be, to be fair, for the most part, the castle in, in this movie actually wasn't bad. Maybe questionable about Jean Claude, though, because, yeah, he's. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he lived in America. He kind of was American, but like, it's like I'm going to kick Bison ass so hard. The next Bison wanted to be more feet, it, you know. It's funny as I think after that movie, Jean Claude's career went really downhill after that. I think the next movie he did, well, I could be wrong. But I think the next movie he did was that terrible movie with uh, Dennis Rodman. Yes, Dennis Rodman, the basketball player called uh, Double Q. Yeah, like, no, like Dennis Rodman and John Clan Van Dam in the same movie. Why? <laughs> you fucking go figure. I don't know. The 90s were a weird time. Honda win. And actually, um, Jean Claude Van Damme was originally the uh, the person dressed up as the Predator in the original Predator movie. Like he was, uh, he was supposed to be the guy in the costume. And he actually, that was like going to be his first major role in America. Of course, you wouldn't see him because he would. <laughs> but like when they were doing, you know, concept shots, you know, it was like the predator was very silly looking when they first did it, and he was like in a giant red lobster suit because that's how you did green screen back then. Is that you had to do like red because red is like opposite of green, and they were doing all that shit in the jungle, so they made him wear a red suit, and it looked goofy as hell. And he got pissed because, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this movie. I look like a stupid idiot, you know. He didn't get the idea that's like, well, no, it's not gonna be you in that suit in the movie. We're gonna replace it. <laughs> but he didn't seem to get that idea, and I guess he left. He or he quit or he got fired. I don't know. That's a weird bit of cinema history I didn't know about until recently. Akuma versus Hunter. Oh, yeah, yeah. This game. <laughs> fucking Hunter, you cheap fucking Samoan piece of shit. Stop it. Hunter wins. Round two. <sighs> Stop doing that. That's funny, you just do a kick to kick. That's a three hit combo, pretty easy. And the green stuff is like kinda like what you call an alpha counter, like in Street Fire Alpha. But you have to do it like right as you wake up. I think. It's like a wake up alpha counter attack. There's a lot of weird mechanics in this game. Problem is this game is so broken. You don't really need them. They kind of happen on accident. Too, because, like, input on this shit is a, is a challenge in itself. Akuma! <sighs> Finally. Akuma! Cracker Ken. 
At least he had the good sense to announce the stuff in English. It's Hurricane! And well, it says Hadouken in Japanese. Or it's Hadouken. I can also angle the Hadouken, that's weird. Just, again, a lot of weird shit in this game. I had an easier time with him than I had with E Honda. Akuma! Akuma! Wow. I'm ready to do my mirror match. Okay. Usually it's a little later. Well, I'm almost the entire roster. And you do a fire fireball. I can do. I'm using my controller for my, my Xbox controller. It's not easy to do that teleporting shit. Of course, it doesn't seem to really matter. Oh, he did the super on me. Oh, that fucker. Well, I guess it's useful for him. Because a cheap fucking computer. Also, this is an ugly ass background, by the way. This is just pure ugly. Well, I knocked him down and he was still stunned. <laughs> that is so fucking cheap. It's like, you know, if you get knocked down, your stun state should be gone. It should not continue. Yeah. Some uh, questionable design choices in this game, I think. To put it mildly. Oh. He can be a bit of a pain. I don't know if you can knock the mask or the claw off like you can in the original Shredder 2. Oh yeah, you can walk forward and you can continue the fireball. You can basically push. <laughs> you can push. You can push damage your super in this game. It's amazing. I don't know what this actor did after this movie. I wonder if he actually did anything. I guess, hopefully have a career. This <laughs> really certainly didn't help it, though. I was hoping this was, movie was going to help push his career forward. Oh, boy. Yeah. He was sorely mistaken. that. Alright, Valor with this fucking weird... Well, I think this is actually something that they put in the game later in Street Fighters, or I think in Alpha, but like, if you hit him with a fireball, he can reflect it if he stands still. Okay, let's me demonstrate it. Or you can be an asshole now let me do it. Yeah, see? He just stands still, he can deflect fireballs. That's fucking bizarre. I think maybe that was the original Street Fighter 2 as well. Or at least in Super Street Fighter that gave him that. Maybe even Turbo. If I remember. Wow, he can block that one too. Belrod! 
I figured the, the purple fireballs you should be able to block or reflect. Block, yes, reflect, no. Yeah, I don't know what that rising knee thing he does. He never did that. No, I don't think he did. Yeah, imagine paying out of this, doing quarters, dumping quarters into this, and getting absolutely butt fucked. <laughs> I just wicked cheap shit. Wow. Wait, so he does that? He can face through fire this? Really? Again. So many fun mechanics with this game that I have no desire for. <laughs> It's definitely one of those games where if you could have played it, I guess, on a console. Well, there is a, there, there is a console port. There's a PlayStation and Saturn port of these. But it's not this. It's actually basically a re-skinned version of Super Street Fighter 2. But with just the digitized sprites put over the like animated uh, pixels. So basically, it plays like a, an okay Street Fighter 2 game with the digitized characters. But it's like, what's the point? Just go play fucking Street Fighter. Oh, wow. Okay. He I'm determined to beat this now. I am close. This next one, and Sagat is fucking terrible to fight against. And I'll show you why. If I get past this fucking. Over. See, when you start trying to throw, it's not going to happen. Wow. Uh, I don't even think I sort of enter in. I don't even know what it does. Yeah, 
mess me up. No, he was able to turn around. No. Fucking. I could have said it. Then he gloved it. Then he gloved it. Then he gloved it. Then See if you get it dialed in. But if you don't, the game will just have its way with you. Oh my goodness, I'm being raided. Thank you, Eden. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome, people. My name is Justin Time. And I've been playing some jank ass games all this week because of Jank's giving. See, I'm clever, huh? Not really. Alright. <laughs> we're 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 uh, finishing off with Street Fighter the movie the game, the arcade version. That's a mouthful I know. <laughs> this game I I saved for last but I consider it a uh, the epitome of uh, of Jank. Because of the game's extreme cheapness and reliability of repeating stuff. Yeah, thank you again, Ian. Thank you again. Uh, I have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a game next week. I mean, I'm gonna go back to play some uh, Civilization Five. That's usually what I've been playing a lot. But I'm gonna play a game next week. I think you. And, uh, I think you and PD would appreciate. I'll keep it as a surprise though, but I think you'll you'll get a kick out of it when you do it. I think you'll think you'll like it. And a PD too, hey, cool. I figured you were in it too, but hey. I hope also both of you are feeling okay. I saw you actually streaming, so it seems like you're your own men, which is good. Hopefully you enjoyed your time with Pokemon. I think that's what you were playing, right? No, but we're, we're we're playing the best Street Fighter. Screw two, three, Alpha three, even six. This is the best. All right, Sagat, it's gonna suck. He's gonna be a problem. If I'm lucky, it won't be a problem. Wow, that's a pretty good combo. <laughs> So that move, the Eye of the Tiger, it is called. It can basically stun you and you cannot block it. It is an unblockable stun. Street Combat, pretty much. This was pretty much them trying to turn uh, Street Fighter into Mortal Kombat with the movie playing. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. It's hilariously bad. I think you should watch it with Eva. It's, it's, it's so hilarious. It is dumb. It is stupid. It is cringe, but it is, my god, is it enjoyable. You should. You, you, you and Ian should make a, a movie date from it. Alright, so we got the bison. Now this actually isn't being captured by Raw Julia. This is actually his uh, stunt double. Because this movie, uh, as I mentioned, he passed away before this movie was completely finished. And he wasn't available, obviously, to do the motion capture for this. Bison can be cheap. Yeah, Gomez. Yep, it's Gomez. You, you betcha. This guy isn't Gomez, though. This is this is the body double. Yeah, he's stunned. Because in their contract, they're actually all the all the actors were told like, okay, you you guys are gonna do motion capture for the video, which the T Hawk guy bailed because he said, no, screw that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it was his kids or his grandkids. It could be either one. I forget. But yes, that was his way that he did it. And he, um, he hammed it up pretty good. I mean, he's pretty much the highlight of the movie. 
Because he knew it was it was laughably over the top and kind of cheesy and bad. And he's like, ah, screw it, I'll have fun. Not knowing that it was going to be his last movie, unfortunately. But hey, as I said, what what a way what a way to end a career. <laughs> Looks awesome. He <laughs> actually he's awesome. Hey, well, yeah. I mean, it's cheesiness and it's broken, so in a way it is fun. But it, it is not a good game. It's not a balanced game. But by God, it is janky. Like I said, this is the epitome of Akuma, what I is a tank game. Because there are games that are just bad because they're boring or like extremely unplayable. I mean, this is playable. You can play it, but it is not balanced. So you can have fun with it. You just can't take it too seriously. I mean, could you imagine if this ever was a tournament fighter? It would be broken as all hell. Round two. Fight. Oh, Waterworld? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Waterworld had, had its had its moments. It was a very ambitious movie. But, you know. There we go! I won! Yay! Just in time to see me win. Uh, Kuma has brought dishonor to his hated brother Shenlong by defeating his best students, Ken and Ryu, in battle. Now all... Okay, we can scroll it. I don't know why they couldn't fit the whole damn text in there. All his ancient powers are Kuma alone to command and master plan and encourage the world with Shenlong and all of he think stands for. Shenlong actually became uh, Gokin. Stands for is one step closer to becoming reality. Oh, this is, watch this part. Game over! Best part. <laughs> Best way to end it. Oh, well, thank you guys for dropping by. This Jinx giving was a little... Didn't go as smoothly as I thought, but I think it ended, I ended on a pretty high note. Yeah, I'm glad you caught that. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, Incredible Technologies. These guys went on to um, not do much more after this. They also made that was a time killer game. Which I think is a lot worse than this game, if you can imagine that. <laughs> and we'll do it. We'll do the victory, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely different. I, I sometimes like to throw in a little variety. But yep, I guess I'll go back next week. We'll go back to more Civ Five. But thank you all for stopping by. Appreciate it. And oh, did it crash on me? It crashed on me. That's okay. I beat the game. I uh, kind of like to. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um. Hmm. I can't, uh, I can't get out. <laughs> Hold on. Um, let me see if I can, uh, okay. I got out. I got out. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone. Um, see you next week. Take care. I have a good rest of your Thanksgiving week. If you're American, if you're not, let's have a good rest of your week and weekend. Bye. Bye.